The one thing that this show can exist without, I think I said that right, is a, a Cole Porter tune. And, mm -hmm. and um, you know, there are seven zillion, so it's hard to pick. But there's one that we've always kind of loved in a, in a totally unhealthy way. Um, because it, it came about when, when Cole was sitting in Brick Tops, which was a saloon in Paris, okay? Um, and he overheard a, a lovely conversation taking place at the next table between, uh, I think, a waiter and, and a young lady sitting at the table. And there was a phrase in the conversation that made him think, ooh, I think that's a song title. Now, there is another version of that story in which someone, I think it was F. Scott Fitzgerald or somebody like that, was sitting with him. They were getting a head start on their evening. Um, <laughs> And, and bet him that he couldn't turn that phrase into a song. I don't know which one is true. I do know that the fact that he took that highbrow, that highbrow statement and turned it into kind of a lowbrow tune <laughs> makes me so happy. Now, what was the phrase, you ask? <laughs> Miss Otis regrets. She's unable to lunch today, madam. Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. She is sorry to be delayed. But last evening down on Lover's Lane she strayed, madam. Miss Otis regrets. She's unable to lunch today. When she woke up and found that her dream of love was gone, Madam, she ran to the man who had led her so far astray. And from under her velvet gown, she drew a gun shot her lover down, madam. <laughs> Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. When the mob came and got her and dragged her from the jail, madam, they strung her up on that old willow across the way. And the moment before she died, she lifted up her lovely head and cried. Madam, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Thank you. Oh, God, doesn't that just chill you to the bone? I love that. That's, that makes me so happy. Um, yes, another song about sadness that makes me happy. I'm an odd person, okay? <laughs> <laughs>